Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do Sex and Violence, issue number two by Epic Comics, made by George Paris and Peter David. Yes, the dynamic duo. Um, so this is a continuation of the review that I made, so check out my uh, my review on my channel, uh, Dark Scientist Comics, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. And, you know, like, share, etc. You know the drill. Uh, so let's dive in. Uh, so what is this all about? Uh, well, um, this guy is Bernie. Bernie is a photographer uh, who does pinups, uh, nudity work, etc. But he is also a war photographer and, and you know, was in Vietnam. Uh, well, uh, JJ Sachs here uh, is a model. Uh, she does nudity work, etc. And uh, Bernie also, you know, photographers her for, you know, um, stuff like Playboy or Penthouse or whatever. And it seems that JJ's sister is uh, murdered in the last issue. Uh, because she did porn and then uh, they did a snuff movie and then she was violently killed. So, and um, JJ, uh, very fierce, very um, tempered, uh, of a t um, you know, uh, tempered, what's the word I'm looking for? She has a, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm blanking. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, let's move on before I'm just wasting your time with what I'm trying to say. Anyway, Bernie is trying to find her because he is being on a, you know, looking out for these people that killed his sister. And he is, uh, you know, in, in a uh, sex shop and, and other, uh, well, some um, places that, sleaze places, as he call it. And he wants to have some information. The reason why he's here, because uh, JJ comes here a lot, you know, buying toys, uh, etc. And this woman says, well, yeah, I checked her out and uh, I know who she is. And she was here last and she bought a... Uh, a whip and then she also mentioned um, Batman Returns because yeah Catwoman in Batman, Re Batman Returns used that whip uh, well a whip and the, she says well since that movie came out this, uh, these these things are not you know uh, easy to get <laughs> which was funny for me um, anyway so uh, he tried to find out who is uh, the dealers um, for shit like that you know like snuff movies and this woman knows that, and uh, she finds an address. And uh, the person that he needs to find is try um, George Comidze. And then before she uh, gets an answer, uh, Bernie is already going away and try to look for uh, George. But it seems that she says, you could have said thank you in color sometimes, Ernie. Your father and I worry. So <laughs> this old woman here is this is his mother okay um so and he also tried to contact his sister his sister is working uh, as a nun uh in a church or something like that so and then it figures it, well it seems that uh, jj also contacted her and, and she says stuff and that makes her worry so um <clears throat> bernie um comes into a, another sleazy place and he knows these guys and um uh, this name's George, and uh, <clears throat> he says, check this. And then he uh, shows the picture of the snuff movie and says, ah, oh, man, no, you don't. Uh, the cops have already been on this uh, fishing expedition, Schultz, he says. Uh, you got nothing on me, so uh, get the hell out of here before I uh, call the cops. And then he, uh, you know, uses his bouncer to threaten him, but he has a bigger knife. And then... Uh, <laughs> He punch, you know, he uses his elbow to punch him in the face. And she says, dude, hey, George, uh, I want to have answer. You're going to tell me now. Uh, the the bount bounty hunter, the bouncer gets, uh, pulls his uh, gun out. And then he says, well, um, uh, I don't think that's a good idea that you're going to shoot us. Because uh, as soon as you pull the pin... My Mr. Grenade is no longer your friend. And he says, now give me a pen and paper so that Georgia can uh, write something down that he doesn't talk, to, uh, you know, told the cops. Uh, very funny. Um, like I said uh, in my earlier video, I really like George Paris' art. He's very detailed. His, his action scene is really cool. Uh, he does great facial expressions, as you can see here. Uh, very nicely done. And then uh, we go to uh, JJ, who is... I believe entering a set of a, you know, uh, I don't know what's this called, but then where people can make photos of themselves naked, 
some kind of a publisher or a movie studio, something like that. And she ties this woman up and then um, she screams and then this guy comes out and uh, she says, hey, what's going on? And, uh, oh, wait a minute. Um, and this photographer checks her out and he says, um, and a woman with incredible possibilities. Will you come to my studio? And she says, well, it depends how excited I am. Yes, there's a lot of, you know, sexual undertones and innuendos and, uh, you know, uh, and erotic comments, etc., and even sleazy comments. And then the photographer turns around. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. And he shoots photos of this woman who has been tied up. I love it. And then we come to the movie studio that was um, where her uh, sister was killed, and she has flashbacks about what she thinks was going on. That you know, because her sister's um, was she was decapitated. Let's leave it at that. Uh, check out my review for more details. And then she's blanking, but then she's being surrounded by all these um, goons uh, and, and people that work here, but they are evil, yeah, no, persons that are involved in those snuff movies. And, uh, well, they found a picture of, of her sister with her, so she figured it out that who she really was. And basically they want to not only hurt her, but also use for porn and rape her and st stuff like that. But then... Um, there is also kids here that has been, I don't know, kidnapped or something. And they are bursting out and they are coming into the scene and they make a ruckus. And, and the photographer says, he says, Joseph, please, I'm in a shoot. Go give the, go give the kids some, some Valium. <laughs> and stow them until the, day hung, uh, until the hungry, with the, when the hungry witch arrives. Uh, I don't know who the hungry witch is. Maybe that's their mother or something. But... <laughs> Uh, I love it that this this photographer or whatever the sleaze boss name is is being offended about he is being interrupted while he's doing his uh, his movie stuff. I mean he's very uh, uh, into the whole making a movie and the scene and into the zone, etc. Uh, but then this happens: the kids uh, scream, she um, does this, and then he is uh, escaping. Uh, her, it looks really great. Then. I don't want to show too much, but on the other hand, you know, I have to show you something. Um, I love it that also that this, um, this frame here is being uh, shot well uh, in, in, from the photographer's perspective. I mean, he looks at her, he looks through the camera, and then she uses the whip and then destroys the whip and um, you know, basically beats him. And she also kicked the other one's ass because she's a really good fighter. Also, I got a uh, trading card from Midnight Man. Uh, I don't know who that is. Uh, maybe you have to look into that too. Anyway, uh, so he, um, she holds this guy um, hostage. And then the other one says, well, he's replaceable. And then she is being overwhelmed. And then she is, uh, you know, lying on the floor. Well, <laughs> this guy is here and he's called the executioner. And um, this the photographer says... Um, your strategy is, is is for shit. You never expected we recognize you, and you were certainly you were certain your moral outrage would make you invincible. Uh, I like that line. I mean, speaking of cancel culture in modern days on Twitter and other social media, all these people think they are untouchable. They are not. Um, but that's besides the whole point here. And um, the photographer says, "This is the one who killed your sister," and she immediately. She, attacks him and uh, but he's way too strong and he throws her aside like it's nothing um, and then the the executioner also talks to her very eloquently because he's also an actor and he um, how do you say um, thinks his in performance is very important uh, so although he's a murderer he is still in character and he says if <laughs> If you want to mind some constructive criticism, you should try to control your temper. Maurice, that's the photographer's name, is trying to goad you and it makes you sloppy. Your performance should be more controlled and that she punches him in the balls. But uh, again, she's, she's being a pretty formidable fighter, but he's way too, too strong for her. And, um, and then uh, he wants to um, kill her with the axe. And then uh, we see the perspective of the camera again, but then the axe is shattered because Bernie is jumping in and kills everybody like he's being Rambo. 
uh, looks phenomenal. Uh, so he is, you know, look at this, he's just being, you know, not only Rambo, but also Commando, uh, Schwarzenegger's Commando, all rolled into one and kills everybody. But the executioner uh, uses his, I don't know, his disc or saw to kill people. Uh, he throws at, uh, at, at Barney, but then we see here that Sax is um, saving him. And then, <laughs> still in character, um, comes lunging, uh, I mean, executioner, I mean, lunging at sex and violence. Um, you... <laughs> <laughs> this cracked me up. Um, I take you both together. A sonata of savory, savagery, fit for warriors such as yourselves. A true poetic climax. And then Bernie says, what are you talking about? You're an asshole. And then he shoots him just like, like he's just a piece of meat, like he's nobody. And he's dead. And basically, um, JJ has now her revenge. And they are, are, she says, why did you kill him? Well, because he was trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. He says, they tried to kill you, you tried to kill them. That's how it works, Sax. And he said, you're an army brat, you know that. Yeah, she is, she is a daughter of an army guy. And um, he also says, dancing around is idiotic. Just do it and move on. And then, um, I, I actually, I, I like this, this whole um, grounded... Um, how do you say, a rational behavior of, of uh, Bernie or Ernie, um, because he, say, he says exactly what it is. I mean, she is very emotional and, and full of rage why he is, well, he can do that too, but he's more, I'm going to do my job, uh, I'm going to kill you, there's no such thing as, as mercy, etc., and, and, and full of rage. So um, he says, um, so... Oh yeah, he um, then this happens, so he is not not have not an arm anymore, and uh, so uh, he sh shouts, "Well, you're gonna kill me like uh, like I did your sister. You're gonna do it, do it," says he says, and then um, no, no, says Bernie. Let's um, if you're gonna kill him, that's that's murder, and um, we are not gonna do that, and you're not gonna do that. So we have to call the cops and bring him in, and then he says. Well, yeah, yeah, you're going to do that, but I'm going to out be outside in a minute because um, you all killed the witnesses and there is nobody to testify unless you want to do it. But she is being, you know, a very violent person herself, so that's not going to work. She says, you screwed up. I'm going to walk and my bosses take you down. I'm looking at dead people. But then this is happening. I said, what are you doing? You said, I said, you should. Uh, I said, she should it, but me... I've killed innocent people before. Old habits die hard and you die easy. And he shoots him in the face and that's it. We don't even see how he died. Well, he has, gets a bullet in his head, but he probably beneath him. Uh, really cool. At the end is, is that they are uh, driving away and, and I don't know, and JJ is being a freak and she says, well, um, I've got my revenge and this really turns me on. Um, let's have sex. And she says, uh, uh, let's not do that because I have kids here in the back of the car and it's they're gonna drive away um we just let them we couldn't just let them wander the streets it's a jungle out there oh geez arnie and she says yeah tell me about it that's the end of the book uh really cool uh there are four issues i got all four of them um i love the whole gritty down to earth uh very mature themes um Great art by Joyce Paris. Great writing from uh, Peter David. Love it. Guys, I hope you liked the video. This was fun. Um, i see you next time. Bye-bye.